Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and welcome to your football show review. Today, we are reviewing the 2024-2025 Manchester United home shirts, but not only are we reviewing the home shirts, we are reviewing a genuine versus a fake. And here is... The, the real one, the genuine one in this packaging. See, it's nicely folded up and that. And it's even got a code on it. And Kobe Mainu is a player who I've gone for on this new Manchester United shirt, the genuine one. And this one I got from Sydney Best One, the fake. So we're going to take a look to see if there's much difference between a genuine and a fake. So... Do stay tuned in this video. The genuine one I got off the Manchester United website. And this one I got off the said me best one. Or best said me best one, whatever they call it now. But here we go. Let's get started. So the one on the left is going to be the genuine. And the right one is going to be the fake. Let's get this video underway. Let's start off with the genuine. Obviously on the genuine one, the real one, I've gone for the Premier League patch, no room for racism. That's been put on spot on. The Adidas badge, yeah, that's nice and thick. That Manchester United badge, though, is absolutely beautiful. And if we come over to the remake... Feel how much thinner that is, man. So straight away, that is a giveaway. And the badge doesn't even look that straight on the remake. And that Adidas, that looks roughly about the same. What about the Europa League patch? Yeah, that's okay. Here's a DXC technology sponsor on the fake. That's not been put on too bad. What's it like on the genuine? Feel very similar actually, but yeah, that that badge on the genuine is absolutely beautiful. I love it, nice and thick. The Snapdragon as well, that's got a nice texture to it on the genuine. On here, it's okay, but the texture in it is definitely not as nice as on the genuine. The neckline here on the genuine looks really nice. <laughs> and you have a look at the neckline here. Looks very similar. And that looks identical. And obviously you can tell which ones are genuine and which ones are fake. Because look, the genuine ones, look at that tag. It's got the shiny hologram on it. And it uses like... A cardboard tag thing. And the remake ones, obviously, they're still using the plastic tag. So straight away, that is a giveaway. The bottom of the shirt. On the genuine. That is super nice, honestly. Nice hemline as well. Looks spot on. And here it is on the fake. Very similar, so they've got that thing right. And again, here's a big giveaway. There's no arrow ready at the bottom on the fake. Where on here, there is an arrow ready. So straight away, that's a giveaway. And obviously, with the genuine, I've just gone for my standard size XL. But on the fake, I've actually sized up to 2XL. Because they recommend with the fake ones that you should size up. So, see, if you have a look at them both together, lengthwise, they look pretty much the same. But the badge on the genuine, look at that, man. Look how beautiful that looks, man. Looks so shiny, sparkling. I mean, to be fair, it does on here, but it just feels so weak compared to the genuine man, honestly. 
And obviously a big difference this year is that the bottom of the shirt has a different shade of red. And higher up of the shirt is the more traditional red. So looks pretty much the same on the remake as well. So from that certain aspect, they got things spot on. See the pattern? That feels nice on the genuine. That really does. And on the fake as well. Very similar. Right, that's the front of the shirts. Let's have a look. And the back of the shirts. Here we go. Here's the back of the shirt. Let's have a look at the Kobe May new print. And of course, our player in the season last season. So there's only one name who I was going to get on the back of this shirt. And it proudly give my money to for his performances last season. Number 37. Yeah, that's been put on nicely. Now, when I ordered this shirt, I thought I put Mr. Joshy J19 on the back of it, but obviously I didn't. Instead, I put it on the back of this one. Look, Mr. Joshy J19, that's the authentic, we, which we will review that at some point as well. But today, I'm doing a side by side comparison between a genuine and a remake. Of course, both of these are in the fans' version, so that's why the badge has been embroidered on both of them instead of heat pressed on. But yeah, it's actually quite surprising how nice a texture that is. It really is. The neckline here, that looks pretty much spot on. And so do the Adidas stripes, to be fair. Not much difference in them. The neckline, yeah, pretty much spot on. But already you can tell on the fake. Look, you can even see the Adidas thing. The 2XL thing. So you can tell already how much more of a weaker material it is. And you just feel the back of the shirt. How much more the material feels nicer on the genuine man. Honestly, no, there's no comparison. So let's have a look. Inside out of both shirts. Here we go, inside out of both shirts. The Manchester United badge, yeah, straight away you can tell how thick it is. And the Adidas as well. Look how tidy that is, man. Just beautiful. Long the texture. And you see here on the remake, just feel how thin that is, man, honestly. And that Adidas thing there. Just by feeling that, it just feels it's so cheap. And when you rub your hands on both shirts, you can tell how much more nicer the material is on this one. It is a lot more silky and a lot more thicker as well. On here, it just feels so cheap. I mean, the material-wise between the both of them, there are no comparison. The looks of them, pretty much identical. The neckline on the remake, ah, again, that looks okay. But again, you can just feel on the genuine how much more thicker the neckline is compared to the remake. There's no comparison, honestly. And obviously, the material on that, that bit now feels identical. Very similar. And obviously the slings as well. Just feels so cheap, man. Where here, they're much tighter, see? Put your hand in there on the genuine. Wow, you're not going to get that part anytime soon. The remake. Like, look, look, feel how light it is. Honestly, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's have a quick look at the back of them. The upper side of them. Here we go, and the upper side of the shirt. Seen the Kobe May new there? You can tell by the texture how well it's been put on on the genuine. And obviously when I review the, the fake authentic, we will see how good my name's been put on in that. But yeah, and the sleeves and that just feel absolutely spot on, honestly. The neckline, yeah, looks superb, man, honestly. Let's have a look at the sleeves on this one. Yeah, you can just tell, look, how much more lighter it is. 
the two XL there. Yep. Again, just the way you seem put on in that feels really cheap. When you look on this one, they've done their proper job of it. This bit here, the pattern on the genuine, beautiful. And you can actually tell that how much more crystal clear it looks on the genuine. <laughs> the feel with it now on both shirts, very similar. So right, let's turn them back the right way. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts and opinions, what I think you should do. Here we go back in the front of the shirts, both of them, the genuine and the fake. Start with the genuine the Snapdragon, just it's got a beautiful texture to it. And this one has a totally completely different texture. Look at that, that's a first. I've never known an S to look loose on the remake. Oh wow. That is straight away, that's a giveaway between the two shirts. But, so, what's the prices I paid for both shirts? The genuine shirts, I paid £85, plus I added the Premier League No Room for Racism patch, so that brought it up to about 105 and then obviously the Kobe Mainu set as well, that cost about 110 and including the delivery, 114 but if you want a proper quality shirt then i say put the money in to buy in a real shirt because the material just feels so much more nicer and if you feel the shirt on this one the remake it just feels so cheap but look wise they both look identical but definitely the quality on the genuine man, no comparison whatsoever. And but if you're just after a cheap football shirt, what it's gonna last you for a year and that say for like fourteen pounds and fifteen pounds, then by all means put buy a remake shirt. But what you got to realise with remake shirts they're totally worthless. Where if you sell genuine shirts you can make a lot of money for them. So my advice is put money into your football club. Obviously recently I've not been putting so much money into my football club because I don't like the Glazers. But now we got Enios in the net. It's like now, I thought as we won the FA Cup last season and that, and Kobe Mainu was our player in the season, so I thought why not buy a genuine so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of course, this one I had for a couple of weeks, and this one, the genuine, only came out this week. I ordered it on the day it came out, so, and it arrived to me yesterday, so it took three days delivery, which is really good. And this fake one took about what? Just over two weeks to arrive. But the one from Manchester United, absolutely spot on. Because I thought there may be a bit of a waiting list, but there really wasn't. But I love the material on the genuine, I really do. It just feels so nice and silky, and it'd be so comfortable to wear. Whereas this one, it just feels so cheap. And like, look at that S, man. Look how poor that looks. But yeah. And even the badge, look how much more straighter the badge looks on the genuine. Let's hang it right here. And on the remake, it looks a bit wonky. And it, and it just feels it's so cheap, man. Wow, unbelievable. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this side-by-side -side review. I certainly enjoyed recording it. So let me know down below in the live chat. Are you team genuine or... Are you team fake? A hundred cent on this one. I am team genuine. Even though it costs me like a hundred and ten quid and that. But it's like you're paying for proper quality. And the material's going to be super nice when you're wearing it. I mean, I had some absolute corkers and remake shirts. But this one... I don't like the film at all.
拜拜。